All right, guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. It's time to upload another video. This time we're going to do the floor and the insulation and some wiring. But you can see I'm a lot farther along than that, you guys. Do you like this kind of stuff? Subscribe and like and, I don't know, check it out. Let's see this build go through. You might ask why I didn't use the inch and a half foam, uh, the foam insulation. Home Depot is out of it today. This will work. I'm all right. And I had it. So it's a freebie. Hey, I'm going to pause the video real quick right here and say thank you for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. You don't want to miss what's going on with this trailer. We're going to finish up the build here in another couple of videos. We're going to get it out in the hills. We're going to try it out and uh, see if my dreams are coming true. <laughs> Back to the video. Thanks, you guys. We are getting ready to do some wiring. I've got six gauge wires for my main line. The battery's going to be in the front of the trailer. The fuse box is going to be back in the galley. From there, we're going to run some interior lights. We're going to run exterior lights. And we got some 12 gauge wire here. We're going to put some USB and 12 volt cigarette lighter plugs here, as well as back in the galley. We have some thinner wire for running for the LEDs and yeah it's getting good you guys okay so i've already done this but battery box is going to be right here i'm drilling holes along the side of the trailer and back into the galley and we're going to run our main six gauge wire back to the galley to where the fuse block will be what have I said before? It's not rocket science. All right. This is not a very serious process here, you guys, but. All right. Oh man, that's tough, right? All right, that should be plenty of wire to do that fuse panel right there somewhere. And 
plenty of wire to come up here into the battery box so we're good that way now I'm gonna get out this 12 gauge wire and I'm gonna run from the back in the galley up to the front here where I'm gonna put another that's where the USB ports are going to be. All right, you guys. So when it comes to insulation, I got the three and a half inch foam insulation, the Artec from Home Depot. And uh, I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but it's not rocket science. Cut it to fit. I'm not doing the back section. Uh, I'm doing everywhere that touches the inside so I cut a piece for here here up here go around the door on the other side on the roof and it's basically just measuring it and cutting it to fit so I honestly I got carried away the other side is done and the front is done so I'm gonna do this side with you guys real quick so check it out First one I'm going to do is this long one, this big one right here. <coughs> and uh, don't call OSHA on me, but the best thing that I found for cutting this stuff is you can get those razor hunting knives. And uh, I took one of the replaceable blades and I don't have the knife. But I've got it in a pair of vice grips. Maybe you can see that. Maybe you can't. That's the best thing for cutting this. That I found. So this section right here is 22 and 3 quarters. By 31. So I'm just going to come over here to my board. And I'm going to mark that off. 22 and 3 quarters. Now I'm going to grab me a straight edge. And I'm going to draw a line on there. Then I'm going to cut that line. So I found that making three or four passes works the best. It's a nice clean cut. And doesn't produce a whole lot of fluffies so there's that width now I got to measure out the height what did I say 33 31 38 31 so I'm gonna come down here 31 Over here, 31. Mark it with my straight edge. Boom. Like that. 
so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Just following that straight edge right down. That's not it. We'll use that one somewhere else. We want this one. Hey guys, that's a wrap for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming up. In the next video, we're going to do the siding and the trim. And we're just about ready to wrap this thing up. So like if you do, subscribe if you haven't. And we're going to go hit the backcountry with this trailer real soon. So thanks again. We'll check you guys on the next one.